Hello guys, it's your boy City back again with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make Apex Legends thumbnails with Photoshop. It's a very easy tutor tutorial, and without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you would want to do is go obviously create a file, a new file. Go to the file new. And then just go to uh, put 1280 by 720. Make sure it's RGB and transparent. Click OK. And the first thing you would want to do is pick a character which you would like to put uh, on the thumbnail. For this instinct, I picked a uh, caustic because I thought he looked cool. So let me just drag him over here, like so then you would have to select him with the pen tool which is located over here but it's going to take a while but it's worth it trust me so i'll just get to work and yeah So now once that's done you just have to connect them, click uh, make selection, click ok and click this little button the mask tool and that should delete the background and leave you with this. Now all you have to do is delete these things, uh, if they are like one color you can do that pretty easily with the magic wand tool uh, which should be here. But as you can see, I don't have that uh, pale background, it's not one color, so it will select the whole thing and I need to select the pen tool. And then just select it, click OK, make sure on your, you're on the background layer click delete and that should delete the background as well go over over to here and delete the same thing just make a section again make sure on your disk and click delete and finally you've selected the character now you need to choose your background so once you, once you've selected your background you just paste it in make it a bit smaller obviously now we're going to be adding our character that little pop-off he needs like this uh, we're going to create a stroke on him stroke make sure the strokes on white put on white and make the size how much you think it's going to look good around there i think it's going to be perfect yep click ok now what you're going to do is go ahead and uh, copy your uh, background so once you've created a copy uh, control G for short uh, just uh, double click on it to uh, make uh, styles and go like this I'm going to leave this style in the picture in the description below so it seems like it's a bit off let me just make it there we go so you, uh, you need to do is go to stroke change the color to whatever color your character is like so uh, click ok like so 
Now once that's done, you get to go to open, drag in the Apex logo over here, above the this layer, make it like this, there we go. Once that's done, go to file, open, and open your victory Apex uh, logo thing, drag it in. And just put it at the bottom right over here. Like so. Put the Apex logo. Uh, make it smaller. Put it around here. There we go. So you would also want to do is go to file. Open and open a brush. Like this. You can find this on Google pretty easily. Just drag it in, make it smaller, obviously like it, how big it is, make it way smaller, so it's just like over here, go with the pen tool like this, select, make selection, and delete that. But looks way nicer so you want your apex logo to be above it uh, you would actually want the uh, white apex logo not this one so you can also uh, use it like this color overlay and make it white make it smaller and there we go so now that's when that's done all you have to do is uh, add a gradient uh, like to make this uh, even look even better all you have to do is create a new layer here and then just take your gradient uh, tool and just pick a gradient that suits your colors for this thing I picked this uh, purplish pink because that goes with the suit well obviously and a dark color so all you have to do then is just hold shift and drag it across there you go you sh this should look like this uh, it doesn't look that good but it will trust me so all you want to do is lower the opacity to around 60 65 yeah 60 that looks pretty good in my opinion and then for the final step is just to add your text so to add your text we're going to be using uh, the exo2 font so this can say when when there we go like so and we're going to be using the agency fb font i'm going to link no i that's not what i meant to do exo2 okay then just type here and put the agency FB font first rotate it place it like this like so make it a bit bigger than the wind and now we're just going to add some gradient uh, make sure you add a good looking gradient or you can also do the styles thing so here you go this I'll put this if, if you want to recreate this just go to inner glow put this to inner glow pause the video if you need put the color overlay gradient and a drop shadow click ok now we're going to do the same thing for uh, when this style but I'm going to change it up a bit so oh uh, the color overlay and I'm gonna make it just darker so just mess around with the colors to whatever suits you uh, maybe even change the shadow a bit on this
Yeah, that looks pretty good. I wanna change the shadow on this thing too. So a bit more distance size, make it zero, and make the opacity like like so. There we go. Now you just need to put the text under this layer. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. There, there you go. I think this looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, obviously, you can change the text to say like thumbnail tutorial. To like whatever. So all you always want this to be a bit smaller than the uh, first. A word and there we go so anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial where we just hit 100 subs and it would mean the world to me if we can hit 150 but that's uh, a goal a big goal which will need some time to do but anyways just smash the like button and I will release a template video uh, of a thumbnail a thumbnail template which is going to be free to use and free to download so smash the like button if you want a template but without further ado I'll see you guys in the next video. bye, -bye.